Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mario Doctor here for another review. Today I will be taking another look at removing adware, potential winner programs, and so forth off of an infected computer. And today we will actually be taking a look at the Junkware Removal Tool, which was recently acquired this year by Marabytes. And basically it is a security tool that runs through a command line scanner that searches for common adware, toolbars, and potential winner programs, pretty much as the name suggests. And there is a current list of programs that it detects off of its official web page. And it also claims to detect many more items as well. You can't expect them to be able to list every program out. So pretty much we're going to be giving it a go through today. We'll see what it removes, what it keeps, that kind of thing. If it gives us an option to keep toolbars or delete them, just uh, just kind of get a general feel for how it works. So as you can see, we have a lot of toolbars installed on the browser right now. If we actually go under Internet Options and then under Add-ons, we see we have the Bab Babylon plugin, and that's actually listed here in the list of programs and toolbars that can be deleted by this tool. We do have some other ones. We have Skype, uh, we have the Yahoo toolbar, AOL, Alexa, Rankings. So we have quite a few toolbars installed on the, com on the browser and we also have plenty of programs installed on the computer as well. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little download button to download the latest version. I was looking on one of their affiliated sites, Yep Bleeping Computer. It's been downloaded about 4.3 million times so far off this page. So that's pretty good and that means that people are using it. So we're going to just download right off of Bleeping Computer's web page. The official name is Junkware Removal Tool and the current version is 7.2. There's no publisher, probably because there's probably no digital signature, but we will run this file regardless. We're going to run that. And it's abbreviated as JRT, Junk Removal Tool, by Mauerbytes. This part by Mauerbytes has been added within the last couple months. Pretty much there's a little disclaimer here saying that this tool is what it is and it can't promise the absence of any complications. But we're going to just begin. So we're going to press any key to continue. Right now it's creating a registry backup just to make sure in case this tool deletes any key registry entries that the computer won't be left unbootable. So right now it's just checking the startup. It is checking processes. And we're seeing that some of the icons right off the desktop have just disappeared pretty much right before our eyes. And it appears the uh, browser, I'm not sure we closed that or the uh, junk or removal tool closed it by itself. We actually open up Task Manager here. Right now it's checking Internet Explorer, Google Chrome. It's probably going through all the browsers right now. Okay, so then a log file was created here. Tells us what services were deleted, what tasks were deleted, registry values, and folders. It appears that it would fail to delete on the Alexa toolbar and Babylon folder. Successfully deleted several items on the desktop, registry keys. I'm surprised it didn't ask us to restart the computer here. Um, actually, I think I probably will because normally whenever you modify the registry, you really should restart the computer. So pretty much what I'm going to do now is restart the computer. We're going to take a quick look over, see what is left behind in our browser. And after that, I am going to run a couple scans, see if any 
nothing major is left behind, and I will be right back. Hello everybody, I'm back. I'm just opening up Internet Explorer here. We see that I just have the Google toolbar, which, I mean, I really wanted, I don't know if you really class for that as adware. I just wanted to put it in here, just to see if they would give me the option to perhaps delete it. Obviously not, not that big of a deal. We have the Amazon button app, top right here. But you notice we don't have the Yahoo anymore, and I don't see AOL, so that is good. Um, we are gonna. I am gonna run a couple scans here. I am gonna run a scan with Malwarebytes. I mean the full version of Malwarebytes, him and Pro, and he sets online scanner. And I will be right back. Hello everybody. I'm back. Uh, the scan's finished. Let's first look at him and Pro. Appears to just found a um, registry key. Um, it falsely detected Malwarebytes as being suspicious. Um, appears a couple of uh, potential winner programs here. Another one right there. Uh, something, I think the Aspar might have been left behind. It looks like a registry entry. And then if we look at Malwarebytes, it appears that it found some potential unwanted programs. This Amazon potential unwanted program. It probably was at Amazon One Button, or let's see what they call it Amazon One Button app. A couple of registry keys. And so pretty much not really detecting much. And then if we look at ESET's online scanner, found two infected objects. Let's see what it found. Found something in System 32, so potential wanted applications with how they're describing this. So overall, I am pretty satisfied with how the junk removal tool operated. Um, it was a very good investment, in my opinion, by Malwarebytes. I mean, it was very quick in scanning. It definitely is a very good supplemental tool to aid in the process of removing malware or viruses or toolbars from your computer. It's very quick and easy to use. So I think uh, that'll be about it for this review, guys. Take from as you wish, and I will talk to you later.